bigger things are in store in 2023. Charlie Ham kicks it off. Shipley will let it go into the end zone for a touchback. This Clemson offense to run the ball a lot tonight. Here's Shipley. Big hole between the tackles. Gets the first down. He rushed for almost 1,200 yards. The struggle on third down a season ago. They have a new left tackle at Clemson. Klubnik with time to throw. Goes deep. It's picked off at the 45-yard line. And the ball came out at the last second. And it's incomplete. Jeremiah Lewis unable to come up with the interception. But Duke does force a punt. Kate Klubnik almost gives Duke a gift. Excellent job by Jeremiah Lewis reading the eyes of the quarterback, but that ball just gets away from Cade Club. Nowhere near his intended target, the big tight end, Jake Brenningstool. Yeah. Sorry, Dustin, I don't think he saw him. Jalen Calhoun is deep. Calhoun waits, fields it on the 12. Outside the numbers now. 30 turns it upfield and shoved out of bounds. Excellent return by Jalen Calhoun of 23 yards after a 47 yard punt. Another pass play on second down and long from the pocket. Dumps it off to his tight end. Del Molin stiff arming and out near midfield and gets the first down. As we saw on first down, they go empty again. Leonard gonna throw this time and it's caught inside the 30 by Higgins. And down to the 25-yard line for a gain of 18. Leonard from the pocket. Throws complete to Moore. Inside the 10. And dragged down at the 4-yard line by Jalen Phillips. Lee Leonard, ball's coming out quick by design from Kevin Johns. How do you slow down this front for Clemson? Get the ball out quick. Missed tackle in the open field from Sheridan Jones. Clemson bringing pressure. Leonard fires end zone to the corner, and it's incomplete. Todd Polino on for a 22-yard field goal try. And the Blue Devils are on the board first. An easy pitch and catch for Kate Klubnik. Going to run Shipley here. And he gets the first down out to the 39. Maffa rushed for over 500 yards last year. Here's Shipley. He's got the edge at the 45 and out of bounds. He did get the first down. And it's a design run here for Klubnik. Very good athlete like Riley Leonard. And it's close to a first down. Appears to have it at the 40-yard line. Klubnik had a couple of rushing touchdowns last year. Told us when we spoke with him, he's much more comfortable as a leader this year. Obviously was the backup for most of last year to DJ Uwe Ungalale as he rolls out here to throw. And fires complete inside the 30-yard line. Antonio Williams down to the 22. Second level of Duke really fighting on the play action. Stop moving the pocket, getting Kate Klubnik out. And once again, Antonio Williams wide open across the middle of the field. Quick throw here to Williams. Good play defensively, Brandon Johnson. And it's a loss of about three. Klubnik in trouble, gets rid of it, it's caught. And a good open field tackle on Maffa by Chandler Rivers. And so Clemson will have to send in the field goal team. BT Potter is gone. True freshman Robert Gunn the third with his first collegiate field goal attempt. And it's blocked. Duke special teams comes up big. Let's see if it was Jamie on Franklin. Very young when it comes to being a quarterback, and they're going to run it here on third down and 10, but Jacquez Moore unable to break free. Porter Wilson in his fifth year as the starting punter. Boots it away for Duke. Antonio Williams has to back up inside his 20 to get it. Williams dragged down at the 20-yard line. short of the line to gain by about three yards. He had 13 punts last year that went 50 yards or longer. This is a short kick. And the fair catch made by Jalen Calhoun. When the hype was just starting to begin for Drake May, wasn't used to those kind of meetings, but both wonderful young men.
Jalen Calhoun. And he's got a first down across the 45-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. I love the blocking out of the perimeter. I love the big guys getting out there. This is the skit center. Scott Elliott out there. It's also Jacob Monk helping pave a path for a first down. Wide open out of the backfield is Moore inside the 30-yard line. And knocked out of bounds. Jalen Phillips gets him out of bounds, but where was all the Clemson defenders there after the catch? Got a long way to go. We just got to settle in and keep playing right now. We've got to get a stop right here. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay. It's an excellent job by Sheridan Jones, knowing exactly what he's seeing, putting his foot in the ground, driving on that football. Todd Polino, good from 22 yards earlier. This is a 42-yard attempt. Looking to extend the lead. And it's perfect. Two years at SMU prior to going to TCU and helping them reach the national title game last year. Shipley gets the first down. Third and 10. Klubnik to throw. Only a four-man rush. Klubnik with a long pass, and it's dropped. Still just 28 passing yards for Clemson so far. Jalen Calhoun is deep. Swanson to punt. Takes a Tiger hop, and then a mistake that time. Trying to make the play. Calhoun muffed it. It's recovered by Clemson by Wade Woodass. Wait, massive. And it's the footing. Jalen Calhoun just loses his footing and completely bobbles that football. Excellent hustle down the field by Wade Woodass. And Klubnik going to keep it. He's got the first down. He dies past the five, down to the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal. Clemson just one for five on third down so far. Klubnik with a great play fake. Dumps it off, Shipley in for the Clemson touchdown. A touchdown catch despite 38 receptions a year ago. He has patered here. The game is tied for now. Nice job selling the fake. Robert Gunn, who had a field goal attempt blocked earlier. His point after gives Clemson the lead. Won five state championships. They let him play varsity as an eighth grader. Helped him win a state title. Leonard leaving the pocket on third and ten. And he dives as what appears to be a first down at the 34-yard line. So third and seven from the 38-yard line. Leonard, his pass is caught, but excellent coverage. Hagens caught it, but dropped immediately by Andrew McCuba. Replaced Brett Venables, longtime heat coordinator, now the head coach, of course, at Oklahoma. Two men back for Clemson. Antonio Williams backing up, hit inside his five, able to break a tackle, but finally brought down at the eight-yard line. Clemson won the ACC last year, missed out on the playoff, though, for the second straight year. Clemson's pass pulled in, first down at the 20-yard line. And it's Jake Brenning stole the tight end, who's a big target out there at 6'6", 230 pounds. I think that's the best throw we've seen from Kate Klubnik all night tonight, Tom. Timing route, nice little curl, hits his big tight end right as he makes his break. Nice job by Kate Klubnik. Yeah, and he's decisive with the throw, and they need to get the big guy involved. That's a mismatch downfield with his size. 6'6", six, six and long. His first target of the game. Out of the backfield, Mafa with some running room, and he's got the corner and drilled out of bounds. Big hit. They certainly have the talent to do that, maybe more this year. But a tough game tonight to start the season at Duke. That pass caught. First down at the 45-yard line. Williams made the catch. To run this defense this year, they're very close, lined at the hip. Play action, Klubnik in trouble. And sacked back inside the 35 by Open. Watch him here with the long arm. Really good job forcing, pressing inside. And you'll see the count of the spin back outside. Three minutes to work with. Free play. Klubnik after the offside. Looking downfield. And it's intercepted. Al Blades Jr. Again, probably coming back. Blades tackled at the 48-yard line. Klubnik probably doesn't throw that ball. Keep it on the ground. Shipley. And he 
gets about seven yards, so Clemson will punt the ball. See uh, Jalen Calhoun after the muff punt earlier. See how he recovers here. Aiden Swanson kicking it right at him. And the fair catch secured at the 15-yard line. Used to be the clock stopped always on first downs, but they changed that rule this year. Outside two minutes. Wide open! Jordan Waters, nobody there for Clemson. He breaks the tackle and runs out of bounds. At the 47, he picked up 25 yards. Leonard. Sidearms it complete. Now the clock will stop to reset the chains. Hagan's on the grab inside the 40-yard line. 54 seconds to go. It's one discipline play here in the first half. Leonard to throw. In trouble. Gets rid of the pass, and it's incomplete. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. in the face of the quarterback from 48 and warm-ups 48 last year, but they're going for it. They trust Riley Leonard with the ball in his hands, and he delivers. Complete first down. Caught by Calhoun. Third down at 10. Clemson going to bring pressure. Duke runs the ball, and the ball is fumbled, and it's recovered by Makuba. See the field goal, get in the middle of the field, align their kicker as they hand the ball to Moore. Looks like Jeremiah Trotter gets that hand in there, punches the ball out. How about Andrew Makuba? Almost scooped and scored that football. It's an excellent job by Jeremiah Trotter Jr. It was all football all the time. Replay was just checking there to make sure that the ball was out. It clearly was, as you saw live. So, 10 seconds to go. Shipley going to run it. Past the 45-yard line and to midfield. And now Clemson's going to call a timeout. Clemson does have a timeout. Now, Klubnik going to go for the Hail Mary. And his pass is caught at the 35-yard line by Williams. And not sure what good that all served, but uh, that's the end of that. Garrett Riley for a reason. We'll see if uh, things change for Clemson offensively in the second half. But first, Duke football. Riley Leonard back to throw on first down. Stepping up to run, and again makes the defender miss. Stepping out of bounds after he picks up the first of the night. And that was Justin Maskell, the defensive lineman that Leonard was able to shake. Oh, it's so smart. He wants to go to the back out of the backfield, but it's defended well. From the 39. Going to hand it off here. Waters looking for a hole. It's there. Crossing the 45, securing the ball as he gets drilled by Makuba. Wonder if they're thinking four down territory here if they don't pick this up. On third down and three, design run for Leonard, and he's able to break a tackle and get the first down and more. Leonard inside the 20, stiff arms and a fender inside the five and into the end zone. It's a touchdown. What a play by Riley Leonard. One of the best plays of week one. 44-yard scamper for a score. Wow, what a play by Riley Leonard. Ben Carter's own touch off the edge. Can't get him to the ground. Lowers the shoulder, watch the speed in the open field as he hits the sidelines, does not step. Dominating most of the first half, yet trailing because of the turnovers and intermission. They respond with a big play from Leonard, a 44-yard touchdown run. The point after makes it 13-7 Duke. Used the steering wheel and was able to ride the bike around. Grandpa said, you know what? That kid's different. Not a tricycle, a bicycle at age two. Shipley, close to a first down. They go back to the ground game, and he's able to pick up 10. Shipley had a good first half, 65 yards, 11 attempts in that first half. About six yards a pop. Two-back look again here, Tom. I think we're going to see a lot of that in the second half. And Moffa will get it here. Breaks three into Duke territory inside the 40. The race is on, and they finally get to him inside the 20-yard line. Touchdown, but a huge gap between the tackles for Moffa. The interior of that offensive line, the center, Will put a great job. Klubnik pulled that back, takes off inside the five, gets lit up at the one. It's a first down. It'll be first and goal from inside the one. Hops to his feet after the sandwich of Lewis and Stinson. Klubnik looks okay. It's a really good read there by Kate Klubnik. He sold it well, held that ball in the belly of the back for an extra beat, pulled it. And made a nice run. And now Shipley comes out of his stance, flags down. Totally agree with you, Tom. First and goal from the six after the penalty. Klubnik again pulling it and running, and he stumbles and falls. Quarterback draw, Klubnik inside.
inside the 10. Stepped up the 5-yard line. Jalen Stinson there first. And the first half was blocked. His first career attempt. And this one's no good. Missed it wide to the left. So third down and seven now after the three-yard gain. Had the drop on first down. Leonard back to throw. Leonard's pass incomplete. Going for Calhoun. Had Makuba in coverage. And so three and out for Duke. And heard about it from Dabo Sweeney. Cost him serious field position. Good boot here. A lot of hang time. Maybe even cut through the uh, humidity. Well, give him a confidence throw. Now let's see if they can get him another one. Second down and three. In trouble, pressure backside, but Klubnik escapes and slides. He began his slide at the 39, but that was still enough to move the chain. So a first down, gain of four for K. Klubnik, true sophomore. Made one start all of last year. That was in the bowl game. He came in relief of DJ Uyunglele and won the ACC championship game and won the MVP award, which is basically unheard of. Hands it off to Shipley here on first down to gain nine. Now it's Klubnik's team. And you have to wonder, it's his first ever regular season start, first road start. It's different when you're the guy as opposed to coming off the bench. You wonder if he's just starting to settle in a little bit. Talked about the rhythm, he's starting to find it. Adam Randall on the catch, and a first down into Duke territory to the 44. A couple of easy throws to get Kate Klugman going. Also a nice run. One thing we've noticed, these first two possessions in the second half, they are really running the ball in the middle, right between the guards at the center. Leaning on Marcus Tate, Will Putnam, Walker Parks, and having a lot of success here early on in the second half. Much more of a downhill approach. From the Duke, 44. Shipley with a ton of room inside the 35. And all the way down to the 28-yard line. As Shipley is right at the 100-yard mark now. Center guard. On cue, Will Putnam, excellent job position blocking that nose. First down for Clemson on the Duke 28, looking to regain the lead here, 6-15 to play. Putnam has a wide open man. Tyler Brown, the true freshman on the catch. Inside the 10, it'll be first and goal after a gain of 21. We, this coaching staff, raved about Tyler Brown, the true freshman. You see exactly why, working from the slot, uh, going all the way across the field on an over route. Nobody accounts for him and a good find for Kate Clunk. Actually, it looked like Terry Moore, the defender, he was in there replacing the injured Jalen Stinson. He was the guy that they targeted there. First and goal on the seven-yard line. The ball's on the ground. Duke tried to pick it up. I think the Blue Devils got it anyway. They tried to pick it up and run with it, and now a fight for it under the pile. Trey Freeman tried to scoop and score after the failed exchange between Klubnik and Shipley. And it looks like Duke has the ball. They do. Blue Devil football, they get a takeaway. Transferred to Northwestern. Back to Duke and making plays when they absolutely needed to have one. And that one might be on Kate Klubnik. That's the, the quarterback running back exchange. Klubnik tried to pull it. Shipley stayed on it. Ball is on the ground. And what a mistake by this Clemson offense. And he's big and strong. He can run it for two, but he's going to throw it here to try to get two yards. And hesitated, and the pass knocked away. He was going for his tight end, Del Molin, R.J. Mickens. We have not seen the quarterback-friendly offense. Klubnik's pass caught for a first down by Bo Collins. Wrestled down at the 41. Got Dominic Thomas in there. Really haven't seen him much at running back. He's in there now for third down and one. They give it to Maffa. And he gets the first down. Klubnik will throw it. Long pass. Caught at the 15. Collins can't get away from Rivers, but he's able to lean on that run game. They will with the big back. Maffa down to the one. Dies for the end zone. They're going to mark him down just short. But it will be first and goal for Clemson. Looking to tie the game here. Physicality up front, Sage Ennis, more of a blocking tight end, doing a nice job on that left side, helping pave a path for Phil Maffa. Maffa gets the ball, and it's picked up by Stinson at the 20. Stinson being chased by Klubnik in midfield. Klubnik tracks him down and maybe saves a touchdown. But what a fortunate bounce.
Woods with Stinson scooping it up and rolling it back some 70 yards. Inside the red zone. And it's so good. to throw. Pressure in his face, setting up a scream over Waters. He's got blockers inside the 25. Got a first down to the 20. Third and a long one. They're going to run it. And spinning away is Moore to get the first down inside the 10. It'll be first and goal for Duke. Another run play. Moore trying to get the edge. He's inside the five. Turns it up. Keep an eye at the bottom of your screen. Eight Jordan Moore does a very good job getting just enough. Waters shifting into the backfield pass play. Leonard ends on its cut. Two points. Calhoun is in. 21 7 Devils. Budnick will throw. Got a receiver. And Shipley makes a nice move. Picks up a first down and then out of bounds. And got into a three point stance. Mike Uncle said, We gotta hire this guy. And Santucci has risen up the ranks to D coordinator. They couldn't come up with a stop there. Pressure off the edge. Klubnik. A drop right at the line to gain by Antonio Williams. That's the second drop we've seen. They have to get to the 44 yard line of Duke. Fourth down and seven. Duke's going to rush four. Klubnik steps up. He's going to run for it, crossing midfield, slides, it's going to be close, he got hit too as he slid, and here comes a flag. So first down on the 31 for Duke, going to run some clock here. Water stood up by Barrett Carter and pushed back, a loss of one on the play. Was the go-ahead, touchdown. He'll throw it here on third and long, they're trying to set up a wide receiver screen. It's Redwell, Calhoun tackled, obviously four down territory, ball on the Clemson 28. First down, Antonio Williams. Nice job on the slant. Bring pressure off the edge. Replace it with the slant. Nice catch there in traffic by Antonio Williams. They got to start pushing the ball down the field. And again, losing about 15 seconds with the new rule. The clock not stopping until inside two minutes on first down. And passes intercepted off the deflection. Mausi picks it off and went off the hands of Shipley. Another Clemson mistake. That's what this has been about. An offense that there were so many high expectations with the new. C Town, and of course, we got the beats, and there are lots of them. Back to Durham. Dave Industry. Riley Leonard, if you didn't know the name, you're going to be hearing it a lot for the rest of the season. Waters inside the 10. Waters making it. it open here in this game. You're going to see the center get out and go, and you're also going to see the backside tackle. Both pull, kick out, and get a couple of nice blocks to pave the path for Waters to take it to the house. Nice hesitation there through the hole. Good vision to find the open field. And the Duke Blue Devils putting it on Clemson to close this one out. Dusty, I'll tell you what, from field level, and I can't believe I'm saying this. There was not a huge discrepancy in team speed today between these two teams. Jordan Waters at eight rushing touchdowns last year. Duke with three rushing touchdowns tonight after. It's a different Duke football program under Mike Elko. Ludwig long throw. Caught. First down out near the 40-yard line by Collins. He talked about, you think Duke can hang with anybody? Well, they're, they're going to have to play everybody. They got yes. Notre Dame at home. They got NC State here. Wake, they got to go to Florida State, go to North Carolina, go to Louisville. Had the benefit of an easier schedule last year, but that changes drastically here this season. Yeah. His pass pulled in. Paul Turner fighting for the first down. Meanwhile, if you're a Clemson fan, how concerned should you be right now? 
mean, I think you have to be somewhat concerned. I mean, Clemson, I hate to say it, if they can just clean up the mistakes, they'd probably be just fine, but they didn't. Here in the game, in the moment, they made the mistakes, Duke capitalized, and here we sat. But really, I think Kate Klubnik is the thing that you start to kind of wonder. Garrett Riley and him were supposed to really take off and announce themselves to the country, and it just has not been that the passing game tonight. Ball's out again. And it's picked up by an offensive lineman, Walker Parks. That was a sack force fumble. Klubnik dumping it off to Shipley. Here's the other thing about Clemson. They, they have to find, again, it's week one. We don't want to overreact, but it, it feels like right now they're searching for weapons. I mean, Shipley running, and obviously as a pass catcher, he had the lone touchdown. What about the wideouts? Can Antonio Williams make more plays? Can they rely on both Collins? Can they get the separation you guys talked about? Big Brenning still. Jake Brenning still. Right? Talked about him tonight. One catch, one target. That was the expectation coming in, but we really have seen no signs of that being a reality here tonight. Fourth and eight. Shipley can't hang on. It was knocked away. Al Blades Jr., the transfer from Miami. And. Jacquez Moore, first down and more inside the 40 before he's dragged out. One game at a time is what Mike Elko would say. Riley Leonard takes an knee. It's one of the biggest wins in Duke football history. Down goes Clemson. The Devils win it 28-7.